What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here. And today, we are back on some more Slam Rancher 2. Because today, I'm going to be showing you more how you can easily farm nectar. Now, if you don't know what nectar is, you haven't reached that point in the game yet. But, if you have, and you know what nectar is, you're slowly realising that it is pretty darn hard to come by. So, let me just show you what nectar is. I've actually got some stored up right here. So that is what nectar looks like. Let me just shoot one out on the ground for you. So this is what nectar actually looks like out in the wild when you collect it. Uh, I am just calling it nectar. It has got like a full name, as you can see right there, Moondu Nectar, but it's basically just nectar. Um, Slimepedia. I don't think I've actually sucked one of these up yet, but it's the favorite food of the flutter slimes and the flutter slimes will literally only eat nectar only eat nectar they will not eat any other type of food only nectar they don't have a diet of veggies or meat it's literally just nectar so if you don't combine the flutter slimes with anything else nectar is pretty darn hard to come by but you can come by it. It's also hard to get because you cannot plant these in a farm or a garden or anything and they will grow for you. You can't do it. It's not a function in the game. You can literally only find nectar out in the wild that you have to collect. Now I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to get your hands on a bunch of ne nectar so you can farm it over and over and over again. So, let me quickly get the map up and show you roughly basically where you need to go. So the areas that you will need to go in order to farm this is the bottom pink half of the Starlight Strand. So this bottom pink half that I'm showing you right now, anything above it, it doesn't really matter. You just want, it's just that bit right there that you need. They, they are like the key locations of where this nectar is produced. So let me quickly go over and show you. To get to this location quicker mortals, I do recommend that you go and feed the ringtail slime, which is usually located right here where this teleporter is, it will unlock this teleporter if you feed the ringtail gordo. I've actually got no water to try and get rid of these guys. But, what you are looking for is this. This is the flower uh, that produces the nectar. The nectar will literally grow in the middle and it will grow and grow and grow and get bigger. And then it will eventually fall out and drop on the ground. Now, there is a bunch of these uh, located near enough everywhere. They're on walls, up on trees. Uh, as you can see, there's another one there. There's another one here. I'm pretty sure there's another one on top of that tree up there. So, there is a few of them. And there's one through here, as you can see right there. Uh, there's one on top of this tree right here. There's one on top of that statue's head, one on top of that tree. There's one just where the waterfall is, way up there. Let me continue and show you where some more are. One on this tree right here. There's one over on that tree right there. So as you can see, this location that I'm currently in is sort of the best. They have like the most in a close area. So you can collect them when they are growing. But the other pink area across the bridge where we came from, where the dotted line is, there is also some located there as well. So don't worry. So now we're on the other side of the dotted line, as you can see. And as you can see right there, there's one plant or flower right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's one on the tree. There's one on that statue head up there. There's one there. Uh, there's 
one on one of these trees, I believe. Oh, yeah, there it is. The underside of that tree, one right there. And I think, for the most part, that's it. Like I said, this area isn't as good as the other area for all the nectar. But now you know the locations that you need to go and look for these and what they actually look like. How do you actually get to farming these? How do you get them to grow in order for you to farm them? Well, I'm going to show you that one as well. So... What we're going to need to do more is wait for night time. Yes, night time. I know that is a pain in the bum, but if you've actually unlocked this teleport, it actually makes it very, very easy to come back to this area when you need to. So, I'm going to walk through this teleporter. I'm going to go back home, and we're then going to sleep until night time so we have gone through the teleporter and we're back in the area now what we're going to do we're just going to go along and check the flowers so as you can see they've actually started growing some of these in the middle of them so boom right there there is one now not all the flowers will produce uh, nectar at the same time uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but the one on that wall hasn't got one uh, already growing. This one has, which is nice. We got the one up there. The one on the tree up there is also producing one. The one on the wall up there is also producing one. So it looks like we're going to get a good harvest from this one. Unfortunately, that one isn't producing one yet. Um, let's have a look at these guys. Uh, that one on that tree is, you can just slightly see it, but it is right there. If we look back, that one's got one on that tree. Uh, this one is producing one. That one up there is also producing one. The one on the head isn't, though. So, boom, that's ready to harvest. That one isn't quite yet. This one over here is... So we can suck that one up. We jump over to this tree here because it has one as well. We can suck that one up. One on that tree over there isn't quite ready yet. So while we wait for the other ones to get ready, we can fly back and forth to the other locations to uh, make sure they haven't fallen on the ground or anything because if they do fall on the ground and there's flutter slimes nearby they will eat them straight away that's why they're kind of hard to come by because they're constantly in the area where the flutter slimes tend to uh, spawn so we've got six already which is very very nice and we still got a few more that are ready well are going to be ready to harvest this one isn't quite ready we're gonna go around to the back right now and check on the ones over here so that one hasn't got one on uh, I don't think that one's got one on has it nope let's jump over here that hasn't got one this area has turned out to be a bit of a bust. Oh, we got one on that tree up there. So let me quickly... We need to check on that one. Let me just get some water. We need to check on this one that's way, way up here. Don't think it has, but you never know. No, it hasn't. <coughs> Hang on. The one on this tree... I'm pretty sure we saw one, right? Oh, no. It's going to get it. Uh, go away. Woo, that's seven. Wow, okay. That flutter slime nearly got there before us. And now we just have to go back to the ones that uh, were budding but haven't done it. So as you can see, that one there is now done. The one here is now done. So that's eight. We can go and get that one. Nine. 
That one wasn't producing one, so we can't get one off it this time around. Uh, there's one on the waterfall, right? One on the waterfall is actually ready to harvest. This is probably one of the most difficult ones to get because you have to get up on this tree in order to actually suck this. There's ten. And then we just got the one on the opposite side of this. And we can run. And there it is. That is eleven. Eleven for one harvest of nectar. It is just really, really good because how rare nectar actually is. Now, when I mean by farming, you're going to say, yes, this is good, but how do you farm this? Well, I'm going to give you the secret of how these grow mortals. You can come back every night and these are guaranteed to grow. And I mean guaranteed. Between dusk and dawn, in that twilight hour where it's not daylight but it's not purely nighttime this is when they will grow and the only time when they will grow so you have to come back between those times when the sun is going down or when the sun is about to rise they're the only two times that nectar will grow on these flowers and that is how you can harvest them because you can come back literally every time the sun goes down and every time the sun comes up and these guys will grow that's why some of them grow and some of them don't grow because they're like uh, they alternate between which flowers will and which flowers won't grow but we got 11 these come in handy for when you're trying to do the flutter slime over there i have already got rid of it because i have already collected a bunch of this nectar but mortals, that is how you can farm this nectar either to feed a bunch of flutter slimes that you already have or just so you can feed the flutter gordo and get access to the, the treasure pod that is underneath it. But mortals, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helps you out. I hope you can now go and either do the gordo or get food just for your flutter slimes. And I'll hopefully see you more in the next video.